Hi, today's problem is yellow guinea pigs crossed with white ones always produce cream-colored offspring. Two cream-colored guinea pigs when crossed produce yellow, cream and white offspring in the ratio of one yellow to two cream to one white. How are these uh, colors inherited? And uh, this is very easy to explain when we take into account that uh, this is incomplete dominance. So for example for the yellow guinea pigs we may say that this is would be homozygous dominant so uh, this would be parent one and genotype would be capital A capital A and when we cross with white ones uh, we may say that uh, this parent two would be homozygous recessive so small a, small a, and now we build a Punnett square, and this is going to be f1 generation when we cross uh, two parents. So uh, all of the offspring going to be heterozygous for the color, but because uh, here we have incomplete dominance, color going to be different from the parent color. For example, here homozygous recessive uh, parent would be uh, white colored and this parent one would be white co uh, yellow co colored. So when we cross them together all the F1 generation would be cream colored. So uh, the question if we cross uh, this F1 generation between uh, each other or uh, self uh, cross them what we are going to get so imagine that this is going to be F2 generation when we cross uh, progeny of the uh, parental generation or F1 generation so here we would have capital A small a on this side and capital A small a on this side and now when we build the Punnett square the outcome would be different so here we would have capital A capital A here we would have capital A small a capital A small a here and small a small a here and as you see one quarter would be uh, white colored just like uh, parent 2 here small a small a would produce white color so we would have 1 out of 4 or 25 percent and 1 out of 4 we would have capital A capital A genotype so this is going to be the same genotype as uh, in parent 1 and parent 1 was yellow colored so uh, here also we have 1 out of 4 and uh, so this is going to be uh, 1 yellow here and this is going to be uh, 1 white here and uh, here this uh, intermediate color would be cream just like F1 generation so you see this is cream color so uh, we can put cream color for the whole uh, F1 generation here so all of them would be cream color and of course this two uh, here that is uh, capital A and uh, small a would be also cream color so uh, this is going to be 2 out of 4 and this is going to be this position here so as you see uh, the ratio would be 1 yellow to 2 cream color to 1 
that is white. So this is exactly what we have here, one yellow, two cream and one white. And this is explanation. And explanation is very simple because uh, this capital A allele incompletely dominant over the recessive allele that is small a. So when we cross them, intermediate color would be cream. So for better visualization, I would use cream color here. And of course, uh, parents of the F2 generation would be of the same cream color. I hope my explanations were clear enough and now you would be able better understand such problems and would be able to solve if you find such problem on your exam. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.